The Pop Warner Rap Show is presented by Genie. And I, a climactic final day at the 60th Pop Warner Super Bowl. As you take a look at the HP Fieldhouse, dreams being realized all week long. And how about these kids from Pennsylvania? putting on an exhibition that we will not soon forget here at ESPN Wide World of Sports. Welcome to the Pop Warner Rap Show presented by Genie. I'm Tom James. All the highlights to get to on what was a thrilling championship Saturday, but we'll start with the game that you just watched. From Varsity Division One, the championship at stake between Northwest and Santa Clara second quarter. Northwest up eight to nothing and adding to it. Hanif Wilkins down the sidelines, breaking free from the pile for the touchdown. Improbably, it's 16 to nothing already. Later in the corner, Jalen Sutton Christian coming up big, gets the pick and returns it all the way for six. And the route was on. Still in the second, on the kickoff, Aaron Asing, he's been the star for Santa Clara, but he swarmed upon, fumbles the football. Shafiq Smith recovers, and the Raiders smell blood. First and goal, Carl Jones nearly untouched into the end zone for the score. We would go to a running clock, and in the third quarter, fourth and five, no matter. Zamir Best. Taking the direct snap, no stopping Mr. Best from the team that is clearly the best. 60 yards for the score and the final. 42 to nothing. A three-peat for Northwest here at the Pop Warner Super Bowl. An incredible performance. More championships were decided today. Junior Pee Wee highlights when we come back. ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex at Florida's beautiful Walt Disney World Resort is your amateur basketball destination. Offering multiple tournaments for athletes from peewee to collegiate level, the complex also attracts NCAA coaches from top programs nationwide. To find out how your team can compete here, visit DisneyBasketball.com. Welcome to the Genie Pop Warner Studios. We have got the champions from the Junior Pee Wees, the Far West Steelers. You guys ready to watch your highlights? Yeah! All right, let's take a look. Far West taking on the Virginia Beach Mustangs. Second quarter, Virginia Beach up by eight, but there goes Connor Ging deep into Virginia Beach territory. They'll finally drag him down near the five yard line. They would go on to tie the game from there at eight apiece. Second quarter, Davion Butler catches the pass and is easily into the zone for the touchdown. It was 16 to eight Steelers at that point. Later in the second, less than a minute left in the half. Far West with a tricky play. Mario Hill Jr. with the interception. Pretty good run back. And the Mustangs were in business with 11 seconds to play in the first half you know what's coming guys they gave it to sincere hawkins and he was gone in there for the touchdown this thing's getting close right 16 to 14 at the half but on to the third quarter we go carvelis scott taken down in the backfield ball was loose that would form force a virginia beach punt on to the fourth quarter and Mr. Ging on the reverse. And he's in there for the touchdown. Congratulations, you guys. Far West, the champions in Division I, the Junior Pee Wees. Are you guys happy? Yeah! All right. Coach, I want to talk to you. Coach Vince Del Ponte. Coach, uh, what a thrill to coach this team, huh? Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch them play. You know, like I was telling them earlier, we had the, the best seat in the house, sitting on the sidelines, and watching their Steelers show week in and week out. Well, Connor Ging, obviously uh, some big plays for you. Pretty exciting to be Pop Warner champs. Yeah, it is. 
How about Davion Butler? Davion, big touchdown for you early on in this game. Pretty excited? Yeah. Um, it was like, it was my first, it was like my eighth touchdown of the season. So it, was, it was very. Hey, how are you guys enjoying this? Derek Barry, incredible uh, week to be here at ESPN Wide World of Sports, and you're leaving with a trophy. Yeah, it's fun to be with our team, and um, it's great that we came here and won our first time in Florida. Coach, tell us what it means uh, to you <laughs> and to all these guys who love being in Florida and obviously play pretty good football here. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing experience. It's we know we know not a lot of kids get to get are fortunate enough to experience this, and we just had a lot of fun here. And that's what I want to tell the kids, just make sure they had a lot of fun, regardless of what the score is. Well, we have had so much fun watching all you guys. I know everybody at ESPN Wide World of Sports would like to congratulate you all. Junior Pee Wee champs. How does Wrap that sound? Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Tremendous honor to spend time with a great group of kids. Well, your junior varsity and peewee highlights are straight ahead on the Genie Pop Warner Rap Show. Disney Soccer Showcase is the ultimate place for top clubs and players to be seen by hundreds of top college coaches looking for great soccer talent. Rated the number one youth soccer tournament in the U.S. in a Soccer America survey, Disney Soccer Showcase gives athletes a chance to shine on one of the biggest and best stages set for youth soccer in the country, here at ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. For more information, visit DisneySoccerShowcase.com. Beautiful shot of Disney Springs on a gorgeous night at ESPN Wide World of Sports as we welcome you back to the Pop Warner Rap Show presented by Genie. Highlights now from the Junior Varsity Championship game. Richmond Pirine against North Philadelphia. First play from scrimmage, North Philly, Zaire Wheeler with the interception. And the Aztecs looked to cash in. And they give it to Sincere Gilbert. Breaks through the pile. Does Yasim Johnson for the touchdown, and it was six to nothing Aztecs. Later in the first, the Giants. James Johnson the third to Michael Jackson. The two-point kick was good, and Richmond Piran led it eight to six. Then Michael Jackson doing it on special teams with the blocked punt, getting his hands on that one, reading it well, coming in unblocked from the left. And near the end of the half, Brashard Smith runs left, cuts back right, and takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. And that extended the Giants' lead to 14 to six. Late third quarter, still same score. The Giants have to punt. Kamar Green can't control it, and Walter Perry Jr. recovers deep in the red zone. And on second and eight, well, who else? Michael Jackson going up and getting it. What an incredible catch. 20 to 6 as the Giants win the title. Let's hear from Coach Smith. Coach, you've been with this program for 10 years, yes. but you're newer to being a head coach. So how does it feel to win your first Pop Warner Super Bowl? It feels great. It feels great for me, but it feels 10 times greater for this group of kids that's been working so hard for the last seven to eight years. I'm just glad I can send these kids out on top, on top. Now, you guys battled to get to this game today. So how did, what does that say about these kids, Will? Just they, they, they just have the will not to quit. We were down a couple games in the playoffs. They fought, they fought, they fought. They didn't let nothing get them down. And they always understood and knew that if we came to play, we was always the best team on the field. We care less what anyone else did. All right, Coach, thank you, and congratulations. Enjoy this thank win, you. all right? Thank you. Next, from the Pee Wee Division, the championship, Sweetwater and North Raleigh first quarter. The Hawks, Micah Simmons with the long reception. Good field position. They're down inside the 30. Noah Rogers with a great job on the tackle, and then they run the sweep. 
Micah Simmons again. Into the end zone for the touchdown and the first score of the game, Sweetwater led it seven to nothing. Later in the first, Charles Thomas behind the defenders, making the catch and scoring the touchdown. It was a two score game at that point. The extra point failed, but the Hawks were on top 13 to nothing. What a great catch. Later in the second quarter, Maurice Evans Jr., this time on defense, stifling the North Raleigh passing a game, coming up with the interception. And how about Marcus Peterson, the over the shoulder catch in the end zone, 19 to nothing as we head to the third quarter on fourth and six. The deep pass to Charles Thomas in the end zone. Nothing would stop Sweetwater. And we hear from Coach Tolliver. You just beat your opponent 25 to zero in the Super Bowl game. What do you contribute to the success of this team? Well, one of the things is, is our morals and values in the park, God, family, school, football, and for the team is Swarm. So at the end of the day, keeping those values and those morals in place and our priorities in place really helps us get to this level and then win this game. How does this win compare to other Super Bowl wins? Well, I will tell you this one, it was real special because this is a, a, a special 24 kids. It took a lot of work and some of them have never played football before and then some of them never even played together before. So it took a lot of effort, a lot of coaching and a big piece on the parents' part to make sure they did come to practice every day. Well, congratulations, coach. Enjoy it. Rest your voice. The action has been intense all week long at the Pop Warner Super Bowl. The Genie top plays are up next. The ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida has emerged as the pinnacle of youth tournament travel, catering to the needs of the entire family. We offer a complete line of solution-oriented products and services to address the complex needs of teams on the road and the team parents who support them. To find out how to achieve vacation victory, visit ESPNWWOS.com. A look at Epcot, Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, the fireworks show, which really should be a tribute to all the great teams from across the country and around the world at this week's Pop Warner Super Bowl. The Pop Warner Rap Show is presented by Genie, and it's the moment you've been waiting for. The Genie top plays from the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Number six, Richmond Perrine, Michael Jackson with the game of his life going up and pulling down an incredible touchdown catch. And then on day five, it was Hoffman Estates, the three-time champions at the Pop Warner Super Bowl, not to be outdone by Northwest this evening, a day later with their own three-peat. Number four, Back from day one, He's Fort Osage deep. Indians, Larry Jones. The yeah, oh, there's two defenders around me, but it really doesn't matter. He goes up, gets the football, Jones. and takes it into the end zone. And then he takes it to Number three, from day three, Northwest Falcons. There's Mark Evans stepping in front. Watch this stiff arm coming up. Boy, that's one of the enduring memories of this entire Pop Warner Super Bowl as the Falcons won big. On One day two, Gilroy and the Patriots, Caleb Miller, the spin, and a little cartwheel into the end zone. He wins for style points, no question about it. And finally, number one, from day four, Deer Valley's Donovan Fontaine, the quarterback scrambling right, heading back to his left, eluding would-be tacklers, finding his receiver, Raheem Bagley, but it's tipped away at the last second as North Raleigh's Lex Thomas with the poke and halting what would have been a giant play. And North Raleigh went to the title game. So an incredible group of plays that we've seen all week here at the Pop Warner Super Bowl. And it's been really unbelievable presented by Jeannie. We want to congratulate all the champions that we have had in Division I. And Division II, of course, Junior Pee Wees, Far West, and Point Loma. 
in the Pee Wees, a couple of teams from the state of Florida, the Sweetwater Hawks and the Northwest Falcons, Junior Varsity, Richmond and Hoffman Estates, and Northwest and Gilbert Chandler in Varsity and Unlimited. The young kids came in hungry and they'll leave with memories they'll never forget. The Pop Warner Rap Show presented by Jeannie is a wrap. Have a great night, everybody.